Hey everybody, this is Brian McCormick here with Gallery Bry, and in this video today, I wanna to talk with you guys about the rule of thirds. It's not so much a rule as it is a tool that you can use to help organize the composition in your paintings and drawings. Essentially what you do is you divide your canvas or paper into thirds, vertically and horizontally, and where those points intersect, that is a good location to potentially put a focal point. You can also use one of the third lines to use as a horizon line in a landscape. So it's very helpful. And it also has a second benefit in that when you divide it into the thirds, those lines also grid out your canvas. So it's very helpful for helping to proportion out your composition so you can grid out your reference photo the same way that you grid out your canvas and that will help you line everything up so that the proportions are correct. So with that, let's take a look at how you can draw out the rule of thirds on your canvas or paper with just a straight edge. You don't even have to do any measurements. So let's take a look. Okay, everybody. So as you can see, I've got my canvas here, I've got my pencil, and I just have a piece of paper. So it's just a straight edge, and this is all you need. You don't need to do any measurements to find the thirds. There's a really good technique that you can use. So that way, if you don't have a ruler, you can't measure, all you need is the straight edge and you'll be able to find all the points that you need on your canvas. So the first thing you need to do is you need to find the center of the canvas. And you do that just by going from corner to corner. So you just wanna do diagonal to diagonal. And you just mark this out here. So you just go from that corner and then you go to this corner. So I guess I don't have to be like super accurate, but it certainly helps. And then now you have the center. So that's a really good way to find the center of your painting. So with the rule of thirds, you don't really wanna put your focal point right in the middle here. Certainly, it's been done. There are a lot of masterful painters that are able to break this and make a really good composition. Again, this is not a rule. It's just a tool to help make your paintings a little bit more interesting, to make it a little bit more pleasing to the eye. So generally speaking, you don't wanna put your focal point right in the middle. You wanna put it on one of the thirds, the intersection of the thirds. So then, how do you find that? Well, first thing you have to do is mark the center at the bottom. So you wanna do corner to corner and then corner to the center. So once you do that, line your paper up, find the center point at the bottom, draw it out. And now you have corner to corner and then corner to center. And now right there, you have a third. So if you were to then draw a line right through that point, square it up at the top and draw a line straight down through here, you have a third. So this is one third of the canvas and then you can then do this again the whole way around to then mark all of the different thirds. So very easily, you just be able to line this one up right here. And then you would be able to draw this line here. And then where that intersects, you have a, another third and you can just keep going around the whole way. And so now you have another good place where you could put a focal point. So if you're doing a landscape painting, maybe this is your horizon because this is a third vertically. And then you could do your horizon line here and then maybe you could do you know, a tree over here. There's also another principle, it's called asymmetrical balance. So you could put a very large tree over here and then you could maybe put, you know, a small tree over here. Or if you have it in the distance, maybe you have 
house over here, and then maybe something small off in the distance. So it's asymmetrical balance. So you have something big and then something small, and they balance each other out. So you can continue to go around the canvas and mark all these points. And when you do that, you're gonna get focal points up here and you're gonna get focal points up there. So you could even do a really, really high horizon line. You could even do that. You could do your horizon line all the way up here. So you actually have another thirds point right there. And then you can finish everything off by lining this one up, drawing it across. And now you have your canvas completely divided up into equal thirds. Third, 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 and you have all these squares too. So this actually works out really nicely too because you can even grid your canvas out this way. So if you're trying to draw a landscape or a portrait or whatever that might be, you can grid out your reference photo, grid out your canvas in the same manner, and then you can go and basically look in each individual square and see how it's drawn out, and it can make it a lot easier to complete that composition. So this actually works a number of different ways. You can use it to get your rule of third focal points. You can use it to grid out your canvas to make it a little bit easier to draw something complex. It's really helpful for a number of different ways and you didn't even have to measure anything. All you needed was the canvas itself to find your center point, then to find the center here, draw that line, you get that third, and then you can go the whole way around and that's pretty much it. All right, everybody. So I hope that that was helpful for you. If you liked this video, make sure to like, comment, let me know if it was beneficial for you, if you have any ideas, tips, tricks that you use, and make sure to comment below. And if you thought it was helpful, share it with a friend, turn on your post notifications because I am gonna be making more videos. I like to make the videos educational, so that way you'll be able to learn something from it and you can pass it along to others as well. So thanks for tuning in and we will see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.